Okay then. Hey, what's up, YouTube? All right. Today we'll be doing a simple application. All right. So first of all, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos where they're telling you how to create a splash screen, and you see a million and twenty codes. You see a lot of a lot of codes to write and all of that. No one explains to my liking. How to create a simple Android splash screen without a whole ton of code. Alright, so I'm going to attempt to do just that. For all you beginners and persons who are new to Android programming, I'm going to show you how to do this minus the ton of code. Alright, first of all, let's get into it. So, first of all, start a new Android Studio project. So, we click on that one. And I'm going to name mine Splash, capital S, S P L A S H. All right, click the next button, and we're just gonna have this one clicked, which is phone and tablet. Minimum um, SDK API is 14, which is 4.0 ice cream sandwich, and that's basically just the 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 build version, what you're trying to get it to run on. So. The lower, the better, because, you know, most persons have old-ass phones out there. Anyways, click in Next. So, just leave it under default. Alright, this is where it gets interesting. You see, no act add no activity, add blank activity, add um, empty activity. So, we're going to empty activity. We'll click Next again. Alright, so, they're telling you to name them. So, I'm going to call my one first. So, mine's called first. So click finish. So starts to build. All right, this takes a little, you know, time depending on the speed of your computer. I'm videoing this while I'm building it, so <laughs> mine won't be that fast. All right, so we're waiting on it. Last time I tried this, um, <laughs> my screen um, capture froze on me. So I'm trying it this time. Let's see if it works. All right. So it's building, 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 building. All right. Let's give it some more time. All right. My computer loves me. It's doing it fast. All right. So we are greeted first with this screen. Get that first. This screen first. All right. All right. You get the point. All right. So what you're going to do is navigate over to your res folder. If you're not seeing that, click on this little button here and click on Android. Alright, so you should be seeing a layout like mine. So click on your res folder and go to layout. And then we are going to add our next layout, which is going to be our splash screen layout. So you go to new and then what we're going to be doing is adding an XML layout file. So we click on XML layout XML file. Ah, so we're going to call this one second. I don't know why I'm calling this second, but we're calling it second call your second and click finish all right so it brings us to this so we can draw um, a text here so we just put a text label here and this is called large text I'm going to change it so double click on it and change the target to this Nah, mm -mm. we're not gonna add a text we're not gonna add a text seems like a bad idea let's not add a text so no text Okay, text don't want to move. Okay, text, delete. You are deleted now. Alright, so we're not adding a text. I repeat, we're not adding a text. We're going to add our image. So go to the image view right here and add your image. Alright, it looks blank, but look over here. It says image view. Alright, so what we're going to do, we need a resource. So we're going to go over to this folder, drawable click on it when you click on it just you know right click on it and then go down to file path this will show you where exactly you and then double click on drawable folder this will show you exactly where you have your drawable folder what's your drawable folder that's where you're going to put your your file your 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 picture whatever you want as your flat your, your splash screen so let's look for mine Minimize everything here. Um, minimize my emulator here. I have one here. Movie poster. 
I'm copying mine. You should do too. And then we open the same file, which is our drawable, which is main res drawable, and we just paste it in there. So paste. It should have whatever image you choose should have a small enough name. Don't name it something weird like image 1.10 slash 568. Don't name it that. Name it something simple that you can reference. So mine is just called sid.jpg. And pretty much, okay. All right. <laughs> Clicking on our Android Studio. All right. So we are back at our image view which is right over here in our layout, we are at our second. Ah, ah, ah. So we are at our second thing, which is our layout. And we double click on image. You can double click on image or click on image. Then we scroll down and you see where you see background here in, in bold. Click on it and click on this tree, <laughs> tree action button. Just click on the button beside it, jeez. And click over to project and now we're going to be looking for what we just added so we're going to be looking for that so be below that you'll see the name of the thing that you named it which is your image mine is Sid so I'm clicking on that all right ah there it is and you can re reshape this to whatever you want it to be man all right cool all right you can even remove the borders using your app theme up here, but um, come on, can't be bothered. We're not going to be doing that. We'll just be showing you the basic of how it is to create a splash image. Okay, so when we're done with that, we have some more work to do. We're going to be going over to that Java folder. Not th Then this is where it gets critical. Click on Java, and the first one you see, the one that says Android test, leave that alone that's not the one you want to mess with click on the first one drop down click over there right on the folder name and click new java class all right so we're going to call this one hmm we are going to call this one second as well second spelled wrong it's e c o n d yeah we're calling this second class all righty so we're over there in our Java view and we have second.java. So we greeted with second public class second. So what we need to do is extend the activity. So you can just simply to avoid a lot of coding, just copy this from the first class, extend app contact um app compact activity. Just click on that. Go over to the second class and you just click on that it's gonna ask you do you want to import it say yep we want to import that and all right this is where you, your knowledge of Java becomes interesting we need an onCreate method so you type o n um, it's supposed to come up on create all right so you see public on create save instances blah 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 just click on that one so Android Studio will just put it in. So you should have public void on create, bundled safe state, bundled persistent, blah, 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 blah. But what we're going to be doing is taking out persistent state, taking that out because we don't need it. And all we're going to be having in our code really is bundled save state and in case you guys don't know what an uncreate method is really the method that calls first is your first method is wherever your application sees your uncreate it will execute the code the code that comes right after it so basically it's like persons who have done java before it's your main activity this is like your starting point for your app so this is the starting point for this screen okay so we're going to say set, okay, set content view, all right, set content view, and we're going to do, um, a lot of this is actually in this text message, this text that I'm going to give you guys, you know. So if you're not if you're not sure what to type, you can just look at your first activity. It's gonna tell you set content view. So set content view, 
and you see in the first one it says set content view r that layout that activity first this is what we're going to do set content view capital r dot layout layout dot and now it's going to ask you what activity do you want to show in this view so this is the second one so we want the second layout which is this right here your second xml layout so we're saying show this one so we are choosing second okay so we're not just done yet the magic hasn't been done yet so what we can do now is to add a timer to this activity which is um, a thread to make it disappear that's our main activity which is our actual program starts we don't want this activity to take over and never disappear we want it to eventually go away all right that's quite a bit of code and i promise you guys we won't be doing a lot of code so what i'll be doing is this we're going to be copying this code right here it's basically just a timer for this activity and i'm going to show you what to change what to change to make your splash screen run so we copy it right there all right you see first of all you see some red some red stuff which is stuff that you haven't imported first we need to import intent intent yes i'm jamaican so work with it <laughs> intent so we go over it and we press alt and enter that imports intent now what you will have to do is change this what is your intent and your intent is what how you get to move from one view to the other so you see here where you see rocky that this you just get rid of that and you put your current class which this would be second s-e-c-o-n-d all right and then what we're going to be moving to which would be first so we are going to be putting <clears throat> comma and it's actually actually activity first hmm no it's actually first just first f i r s t first class all right so all of that has been satisfied and let's save this we shouldn't have any red lines okay so we're going to take away one of those all right one of the curly braces so you'll see no red lines up here if you've done this correctly so back to the intent just to recap you should have intent which class you're in which is would this would be the second class or so second dot this comma first dot class which would be the, the the next layout that you're going to be going to all right I, I hope that wasn't confusing I really tried to not make it confusing we're almost done there's just one last thing we need to do so we need to go to our manifest here so you click on your manifest and we need to add this activity what's your manifest your manifest is where you tell your Android application what you're going to be doing you need to tell it you can't just surprise it with stuff you have to sh tell it what you will be doing so what we did was just simply went from this activity here from the top from activity and we went straight back to the first activity we just copied all of this the only thing you don't need to copy is application leave that out there you don't need that you just need to copy that activity notice how we separated it and you just paste it right before that one and then what you simply need to do is change this name you see where you see dot first change that and put dot second and that's it it's not complicated that's it that's pretty much it that's it in a nutshell and you save um so basically let's see what we're gonna see we should see on our first activity we should see hello world and but before that we should see the splash screen so let's get to our android application so let's run this all right it's asked me to select this and select that so bringing up our emulator right here um the code that you see me copy guys i'm going to make it available in the description it probably be uploaded as like a text 
or something a text file because all it is is a text file it shows you exactly where to copy and that kind of stuff um waiting on my emulator to come up this thing takes a while and because i'm running a uh screen capture device it probably take couple whiles like a year and couple months so still waiting on it just to show you guys that it works all right so we should be seeing our app soon okay waiting on our app to run all right there it is guys it's going to be running soon <laughs> this is ungodly slow believe me it is ungodly slow all right all right what happened a while ago we didn't see our splash screen we did not see our splash screen so let's see what could be wrong nope that's not it that's not it okay clear the cache mm -mm -mm -mm. and let's start again Sometimes it's like that with my computer. It just, it's just ungodly slow. So let's see it. Ah, there it is. There it is. Our splash screen comes up and then hello world. Yep, it's as simple as that, guys. No ton of coding. Please subscribe if you like this video. That's what I do. I try to make coding very easy for persons trying to start and get into this thing it's no brain science kind of stuff it's pretty simple all right guys thanks for watching please subscribe tell persons about this video um share this video anybody you think benefits and you see coding equal life code solutions thanks for watching guys